Hi, it's Beck here from Sunbury Local Businesses and I'm here with Dean Clements from Leeburn here in Sunbury. How are you, Dean? Yeah, very good, thank you, this morning. That's good. Now, I wanted to continue on with our property chat, but before I do, I wanted to just admire the beautiful nook here in Sunbury and this amazing spread from Cafe Cersei down in O'Shaughnessy Street. It's amazing, oh, it's you're fantastic. spoiling us. I do, I like to spoil you guys. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Um, so, what we'll talk about today is property styling. Um, I've noticed that there's this, um, growing trend I suppose of people having their properties professionally styled for sale. Is that something that you would recommend? Highly recommend it. If mm -hmm. a property is styled professionally there's no doubt statistics and research has shown yeah. that a property that is styled will def definitely get a little bit more money on the market than a property that hasn't been styled mm -hmm. and also attracts a lot more buyers to the property through the marketing. The, the photos look fantastic, yeah. the home looks great and it does attract a lot more people to the home. Wow. And so in terms of like professional styling, do you have an idea of what that sort of thing would cost? Depending on the package, generally they start around $1,500 and mm -hmm. they go up to about $3,000 depending on the period of time that you hire the furniture right. and what sort of packages obviously you engage with with those professional people that do that service. Okay that sounds fantastic but what about for people who perhaps can't afford that sort of investment what would you recommend for them? Yeah well there's a lot of people that just can't afford to have their property professionally styled mm. and you know after 25 years of real estate we've learned a few tricks along the way if you want to call them yeah. just to sort of give people a bit of a helping hand mm -hmm. and one of the things I would suggest is that first impressions count mm. so you've got to make sure Sure that when someone's looking at your property from the front that all your gardens are neat and tidy cut short weeded and all your pathways leading up to your front door nice and clean and tidy of course uh, inside the house I can't repeat this enough declutter mm -hmm. declutter declutter yeah make sure you get rid of at least 50% of some of the items in the home mm -hmm. make the rooms look bigger mm -hmm. so another advantage to decluttering is that when we are doing an open for inspection generally have five, 10, sometimes 15 and 20 people coming through. Mm -hmm. So decluttering, of course, just opens up those spaces that prior to that may have been a little bit claustrophobic and hard to get through, like narrow corridors, for mm -hmm. example. So it's very important to make sure you declutter. Mm -hmm. yep. Allow for a lot of natural light to come into the property by taking off some of the old fashioned tour line curtains, if okay. you have those. Yep. Uh, they're very fashionable back in the day, but not today. <laughs> Take them off the windows so yeah. people can see through the windows into the garden areas. Okay. And just generally go through the home and make sure you clean the kitchen, mm -hmm. bathrooms, shower screens. Mm -hmm. Take a lot of the personal photos that you may have on the walls, again cluttering up the walls, yep. making the room look smaller. Okay. Take all the personal photos off because you want the buyer, when they come into the house, mm -hmm. to have a sense of feeling that that is their home. Of and course. they need to visualise living there. Yeah. So that's very, very important. A couple of other little tips that I like to suggest to my uh, sellers mm -hmm. is, you know, if you're into baking cakes, mm -hmm. for example, bake a cake just prior to the open for inspection. Yes. <laughs> brew some coffee, get that smell, that aroma through the home, yeah. put a bit of background music on. Yeah. If it's cold and you've got a fireplace, light the fireplace yeah. up or put the ducted heating on. And if it's hot, put the evaporative cooling or aircon on if you've got one. So just a few simple, just small tips. Yeah. But you know, it does make a difference. And yeah. like I said, when a buyer leaves the property, you mm -hmm. want to leave them with a lasting impression. As they sometimes say to me when they're purchased, they say, Dean, I don't know what it was about that home. It just felt homely, yeah. it felt good, it's a feel good experience. That's Buyers awesome. are buying an emotion, not yes, a property. Absolutely. And if they're emotionally involved, they'll pay the money. That's amazing. Look, thanks for all of those tips. Um, one I think that we might also touch on for a second is for those people who are decluttering, you don't need to get rid of your stuff, you're just packing it early. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, start packing the boxes. <laughs> Getting Put ready them away. for sale. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time today, Dean, and hopefully that's helped a lot of people out there. Oh, my pleasure. Look forward <laughs> to seeing you next month. Absolutely.